But essentially, what's, what seems to have happened is that the um, the music scene has moved online and radio is, is sort of uh, catching up. But um, gradually, gradually, all these things will be worked out, um, I've no doubt. And John will not find any of it that surprising as it, as it goes along. Anyway, um, what I wanted to talk about a little bit um, is a sort of reality version of the drama show because the the drama show is obviously fiction or at least I, I'm tending towards doing plays there or scripts um, guides to a walk or a conversation an improvisation whatever they might be and, a, and one of them that keeps coming back is a CD walk going around Exeter looking at places where CD shops used to be or music retail, because um, there's some places where where vinyl used to be. Um, boots, boots, for example. I don't think of boots as CDs. I sort of remember it more as vinyl. Might be probably wrong about that. It's just, but it's all done on memory anyway. And it's just asking the question wh- whether all the student accommodation that's being built will actually be needed. So, what's happened since I started doing those? I think the DVD is going the same way. If you look at HMV ground floor, um, the merchandise is taking over more and more of the space. It sort of suggests that bandwidth is is enough for coping with video uh, in the way that it was with um, replacing CDs effectively. Um, it's It's all guesswork, this sort of thing, and what sort of comparisons can be made. But meanwhile, um, Scott Galloway, who is an American marketing uh, professor, has put up a a, um, a YouTube clip this week asking, are the COVID winners falling behind? And he's, he's suggesting that the uh, shares that did well, because people thought there was a rapid movement coming along during the, during the lockdown, uh, are not necessarily continuing that. And he's he's chosen Zoom and uh, Hilton as examples. And he shows that actually Hilton has caught up with with Zoom in terms of percentages from a starting point. So if you look, it's quite short. It's not not too complicated as videos go. Um, Are the COVID winners falling behind? So this is is like reality um, because certainly um, on the... On the campus, it appears everything's back to normal. There's very little conversation about um, the MOOC scene or moving online and that's that sort of thing. Although I would I would have thought that could still come back um, because my other my other play is set in the ruins of the Fortress University. Um, Peter Horrocks, who got the sack essentially out of the Open University for putting so much money into um, Future Learn. Um, he spoke a lot about the fu- about the Fortress University, and so the ruins of the Fortress University, of which um, Kendall has got a, got a very good set. Their their castle is definitely a ruin. Um, so that's that's one place to look at it. But after after I saw the Scott Galloway uh, video, I did have a look at Coursera and two you share prices and they're not they're not doing that well it has to be said um course coursera had an ipo uh which they're, they're a mooc platform and two you bought edX from uh harvard and mrt so th- this is all what's happening in the states sort of thing and um you look you look at the charts and undou- undoubtedly the 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 price is not an improvement on the ipo offer and Class Central, where I get this, in, most of my information comes from Class Central, a very good guide to the MOOC scene. They, they point out 2U is not worth now more than they paid for edX. So all, all these sorts of things can come back again, but we might be looking at a sort of crash moment on this scene, like the turn of the century, but in a, in a smaller space. But um, it could all come back again. And I still can't really get my head around why we need all the student accommodation. So we'll come back to all of this. That was a shot at reality, which doesn't really fit into the drama show tomorrow. 
when I'll be looking more at fiction or possibly a little bit around um, YouTube and cameras because I do think this um, this article in the Express and Echo about Foil Arms and Hog who will be at the Great Hall on April the 3rd I think that's a breakthrough because uh, content marketing uh, justifies lots of lots of different things I think uh yeah, content. Well, to be more specific, lots, lots more MOOCs, lots more content that's rapidly available to everybody, um, and something would still happen on campus later on in more detail. I mean, going, going back to the digital humanities, which um, I'll try and catch up with whenever whenever those seminars re are repeated or actually occur, because the the one the one in Exeter's cancelled today. Um, from Oxford's uh, projects, maybe that's how it'll go. The the um, Oxford University Press will make masses of stuff available from their archive, and they'll still sell more books of some kind at some point. Uh, you might think, but I mean, it has to be said at the moment. Um, maybe staying completely clear of it all, um, as some at the Open University seem to be suggesting from a fi simply financial point of view, um, well, who knows how it will all work out.